Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of show you what the uh, uh, a quest is like doing in this game. So, um, here I am, I'm just uh, reading over the log. Because it's uh, very, very important that you read what it says as far as where to go, what system you're in. Um, green text is usually very important. Um, and then you can look at the galaxy map and such, and uh, it'll show you where to go. Uh, tell you a general system and you can usually find that system uh, at least one of the names on the galaxy maps in this case is uh, uh, Pycana Sector so uh, I gotta go down to uh, Pycana Sector, here's a warp thing and uh, we take off loading screens, they uh, got rid the of the Klingons movement, so. are willing to use any weapon available to destroy the Federation even time itself it falls to a small group of brave Starfleet officers to restore the timeline and rescue one of their own. Who controls this sector may determine who controls the war. Yeah, that's the latest edition. It's kind of nice. Adds a different feel to the game. All right, so here we go. So, um, in the quest, it was saying I had to go to um, a specific kind of a, a system. So, uh, Laurentian, I think it was. Um, Yep, and then you just find that one on the map when you're in the set in the the sector zone deal, and uh, now we click it. Now it does crash here. Um, it is open beta. Um, got a week to go till launch, you know. And well, yeah, the system still crashes. So uh, we get a server not responding error here, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it eventually goes through. Though. Nice thing is that when the server is starting to crash type of deal, you'll get that message, and sometimes it'll load. Um, right, here we go. There we go. It disappears and then it loads up. So <clears throat> this is actually a ground part of a quest, and uh, a little different than space combat. Uh, my character is not the greatest. I don't have. Uh, I haven't spent any time doing this. So um, NPCs you can talk to them. Usually tell you some uh, background story. Uh, haven't encountered any where you have to listen to them, uh, other than a, a couple of diplomatic ones where they have, they actually ask you a quiz at the end and you got to pay attention to what the NPCs say. But um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I know my log has a whole bunch of little dots saying, "Oh, I got to destroy stuff," and so I figure I'm just gonna go kill things. Um, lots of red dots on the map, lots of zones. The white zones on the mini map are uh, kind of areas that you're supposed to be in. And uh, I suck really, really bad. Look at that. I can't even hurt them. But. Alright, so second try. <clears throat> I look around and I, uh, I see someone actually fighting already. I'm like, well, I'm gonna stick around them because uh, it's better to team up than do this uh, kind of stuff alone. So, there we go. We flank them. Flanking is definitely easier if you uh, if you can um, uh, get into a group with someone and then whoever that NPC is attacking, you kind of go to their side or back and flank them, hit them with a high damage attack, aim. Press C to crouch or aim, go into aim mode, and helps quite a bit. And for some reason, my audio cut out there, but I don't know why. So, anyways, here we go. So, there's some Tor target handler guys in the Targ over there. I did not see them, neither did the other guy that ran up and he aggroed. And that guy jumping or running into the wall there, that's what happens when you run into stuff while you're running. You actually slow right down. It's kind of fun. Um, so here's the tar Targs. Um, they're like big dogs, puppy dogs, but they, they do hurt. There's the Targ handler. Uh, the blue bar on there is a shield, the personal shield of the unit. Some units have them, some don't. As you get higher up, they probably all do have them. Um, and then you have their green health bar. Uh, the same is for us, uh, all of our characters. Uh, if you look at mine, which is the very top on the left, it has the blue bar, which is my personal shield, and the green bar there. Um, 
pretty much it. Oh, one guy in the team died. It, it can be very, uh, very hectic. Um, I think the server crashes right about now, so. Yeah. Anyways, um, hope that kind of gives you guys an example of what a, uh, a crazy map is that no one knows is going on, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun, that's for sure. I will, uh, see you guys in the game.